Right, well, lay it on us, man. What what do we got here? Oh, going over the infantry uh, rather quickly. It's, uh, huh? What is this, actually? I'm looking at it right now, and I'm trying to come to terms with what I see. But anyway, from what we have a single source warrior. We have a single Red Crested Skink. We have one Temple Guard, being the Artawar Star Chamber Guardians. And now we have cavalry two horned ones and it looks like uh, one of them has a uh, single chev chevron and we have sacred crocs scores a feral carno and we do have croaky boy and he does have the shield of the old ones supreme shield of the old ones that is and the golden death mask it's like Shield of the Old Ones, except it comes with sour cream and tomatoes. Yeah, basically. You know, it's fully loaded. It is fully loaded. It's coming at you. And it's a uh, full serving, that's for sure. And uh, for the leader, we just have a Red Crest King Chief on the Horned One. And it looks like he has the Warrior's Crest and the uh, Opal Amulet. So that rounds out the Elizabethan Force. A very small, very elite force. And uh, what has uh, Chaos brought? This day to the field, my son. Oh, Chaos got a big army, starting with five Chaos Warhounds up front. Weird, right? Uh, t it looks like yeah, three man. of them with poison, two of them without poison. He's gonna have. There, I say, who let the dogs out? <laughs> who let the dogs? Out? <laughs> got four Marauder Horsemen as well. We've got three Chaos, four Chaos Marauders. Make that five Chaos Marauders. So a ton of cheap units here. On top of that, we're going to have two Dragon Ogre Shaggots and Sartorial the Ever Watcher. Sartorial is going to have on top of him Final Transmutation, Arcane Conduit, as well as the Plague of Rust. Now, this is the. the, the these are both really strange armies. And is it just me or are these both really strange? <laughs> no, they're both really strange, for sure. Uh, the only. Well, there is some standard. Uh, I mean. I would say the Chaos build is pretty standard, but the five hounds are uh, head scratching for sure. Yeah, the but five the, hounds uh, and the lack of halberds I find surprising too. Yeah. Ever check in with the double shaggies? I mean, that's very strong for sure. But, uh. Yeah, man. Five hounds. I, I mean, I love the hounds All too. It's horses. clear they're just coming in to pin down units in place while the jabs throw in and do their work, but. Yeah. Yeah, it just seems the accidents would be so much better here, you know? Yeah, I, I would agree with that. The axes seem like they make a lot more sense with the armor piercing, but in comes the damage, and it, it's starting to do some work. It's pretty good. And often uh, what happens with the uh, Marauder Javelins, you're rarely throwing perfectly... Oh, here comes a big croak spell. Could delete this infantry. They're trying to dodge it. They're trying to dodge it. I think they're going to dodge it, and they'll be just fine. And uh, we'll see. And yeah. Uh, yeah, take it. Us. Uh, a bit of damage, but overall, coming out of that yeah, relatively terrible. unscathed. But look at this, yeah. a Dragon Ogre getting stuck here. But look at that, a final transmutation, is that coming down? This is huge. Oh, but it's being uh, countered by the Supreme Shield. Oh! 44% uh, damage resistance, and yeah, these lizards really aren't taking much. That was they barely point. feel it, it's like a light rain. I and know. come the Temple Guard, and uh, the Shaggy is actually really taking the brunt of it now. Uh, well over half damage. Oh, but look at this. Warhound's coming around getting nice full surrounds on top of this force. Um, yeah, really. Yeah, it's a uh, interesting battle going on right here. Shaggett's getting on top of the Feral Carnosaur, who is rampaging right now, and that's a huge problem for that Feral Carnosaur. The Chaos forces can take out that heavy hitter early on. That'll be a big a loss for the Lizardmen. Cold-blooded was popped, though, so it quickly uh, negates that rampage. Now he's running free, and... Uh... Yeah, look at that though. That one Dragon Ogre Shaggy is really feeling the hurt, and the, uh, the Raptor Cab is running right after them. Yeah, I like how he's keeping the weak one running away while he turned around the healthy one to slow down those horned ones. And uh, yeah, they're starting to chew through the horned ones. I have a feeling the horned ones, if they stay in combat, won't be around too much longer, but we obviously have the Sacred Croc score and all the Temple Guard coming in to support now. Um, but man, oh man. These two atypical armies still duking it out, and uh, yeah. Meanwhile, over here in the back line, just to check on that really quick, we do have horned ones rampaging, chasing off some more hounds. 
And the Red Crested Skinks are really far out of position at this point, but I don't know. It, the balance of power is still relatively even. Indeed, a lot may just come down to some RNG on this Feral Carno. Uh, they can take out that Feral Carno. It seems like the Shaggy will probably just pummel mm -hmm. the Skink Chief here, as there's still two Shaggies on the field. Oh, big yeah. hit on top of the Red Crested Skink Chief there. Yeah, wow. It's getting smashed. Yeah. I'm really waiting to see when that next upgraded final transmutation can start coming down. As long as they can neutralize Lord Kroak or something before then, that will be absolutely devastating because this Lizardman army is so small and so clumped up that final transmutation should be able to do a ton of work. Indeed, and the remaining jabs are coming down and just punishing this Carno. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You think a final trans must be... Oh, you never know. It was an upgrade prior, so... It's true, yeah. And, you know, he still has Plague of Rest. I haven't been seeing him cast that, but that's a potential thing. And maybe he's just being cautious, too, recognizing he doesn't want to waste a final transmutation when Kolk is still around. Oh, Feral Carnosaur hanging on by a thread. All right, I think you we know, might be seeing it. Standard final trans, but yeah, the Feral Carno goes down and it seems like, you know, he's going after Croak, but he probably wants to just go kill the uh, Red Crescent Skink Chief. Yeah. If he, if he sits around too long with these Temple Guard next to him, he may, you know, wind up losing against old Croaky Boy here. Yeah, and one Shaggoth is Look looking this. like it's going to die. He needs yeah. to get out of combat. Yeah. It's just so careless at this point. You're like, you have a good position. Do not leave Shagus in combat when there's Temple Guard nearby. Yeah, with that Temple Guard alive, and as he was trying to kill Lord Croak, but Lord Croak is just stubborn, unbreakable, and he's not going anywhere. That pesky little King Chief came in and just killed that Shaggy. And now it's, uh, oh, Croak. He's vengeful, he's angry, he's gonna banish these, uh, these hounds, it looks like. No, it looks like the hounds are gonna maybe get out in the nick of time there. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, they took some damage, but yeah. They got out for the most part. Oh, look at that. Skink Chief. Looks like he's getting routed. Looks like uh, Chaos is coming back with vengeance themselves. Yeah, it looks like the Star Chamber Guardians and uh, Lord Kroak are the only things Kroak, um, you know, yeah. holding strong for the Lizardmen. And I think this is a Chaos victory now, uh, Romulan. This has been a great battle. And uh, honestly, I was kind of surprised to see the Chaos pulling it off here. Yeah, just a couple good hits and the Skink Chief goes down and just getting routed off the field. And nice use of the uh, Marauder Cabal game. They've used all their ammo. They've got some nice rear charges, chased off some key units, and uh, yeah, killing that Feral Carno and some good shots. Nice play out, and it was key to this week, for sure. Yeah. They just looking broke. <laughs> he will fight it out to the end. I mean, he. He's fought past the end. He's already dead, and he's still going, so... I yeah, guess it's time true. to kill Croak again. Oh! There he, goes. there he goes. And that's a GG first game going to Hot Ice Cubes with his Warriors of Chaos.